now that we have our flags stuck down on, on our banner, we're going to take and we're going to center and stick our cardstock here to a piece of 12 by 12 inch Java cardstock. So I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to run some double sided adhesive, a fair amount of double sided adhesive because I do not want my page to fall apart. So I'm just being quite liberal with my adhesive. I find that if you take the time to make a scrap page, you don't want it to fall apart later on. So just be fairly liberal with your adhesive on this type of page. So we're just going to leave equal borders on all four sides. So now we're ready to add in our title. So I've gone ahead and I'm using some chipboard pieces from Maya Road, and these are the Jonathan chipboard letters and I've spelled out happy birthday and I've covered these with early espresso craft ink from Stampin Up and then I sprinkled over top of them Wow's clear braille high or ultra high embossing powder heated each of those with the heat tool in order to give my title this beautiful super high gloss um, look to each letter. So I'm going to actually lay each of my letters onto my page here. And you're going to see I'm going to run the happy down the left hand side and then I'm going to put birthday along the bottom here. And I always like to lay out each of my letters before I stick anything to my page so that I can make sure that I have proper placement and everything's nice and straight and exactly how I want it. So you're just going to play with each of your letters until you have placement. And once you're happy with the placing of your letters, you're going to stick your birthday to the bottom of the page using some Tombow liquid adhesive and I'm going to stick the happy to the side of my page using some Stampin' Dimensionals. You may find you need to trim some of your dimensionals so that they are still hidden behind the letters. You can always use the side pieces of the sheet but this will also hold down your um, canvas pieces. Your Each of your chipboard letters will actually hold that into place. So I'm just going to stick that in between two pennants and continue down my title. Peeling off my backing from each letter of my happy. Like I said, I'm going to stick happy down with my dimensionals and I'm going to stick birthday down to the bottom of my page by using my liquid adhesive. And this is a great way to use up some of the edges of your dimensional foam. Um, just I hate to throw things away, so I like to use up everything that I've purchased. So you can go ahead and do that by snipping off pieces with your paper snips. So like I said, now that you have your happy in place, I'm going to start sticking down my birthday using my Tombow liquid adhesive. I'm just applying a small amount to the back of each letter. You don't need too, too much. Um, you don't want it to squeeze out the front. So just place each of your letters down using your liquid adhesive. And then you want to give it a few minutes to set. It is liquid, so make sure when you're sticking each of your letters down, you don't bump the other one beside it because it will still move slightly until that glue has set. So you're just going to stick each letter to the page, like I said, with a small amount of Tombow. So now that you have your title on stuck down to your page, you're going to need three photographs. And I have three photos that are trimmed down to um, 
three and a half by five and a half, and I've matted my focal point, my center photo, onto a piece of Java cardstock that measures three and five eighths by five and five eighths. I'm going to actually stick my first two photos down to my designer paper using my double sided adhesive, and I'm going to stick them down so that one is in the top left hand corner and one is in the bottom right hand corner, and I just want to leave a slight border, about a quarter of an inch on the top and left hand side of that photo. And then I'm going to repeat that in the bottom right hand corner, leaving about a quarter of an inch on the right hand side and bottom of the photo. So then I'm going to take my matted photograph and I'm going to stick it down using some Stampin' Dimensionals and it will slightly overlap the other two photographs, that's okay, as it is our focal point of my page. I'm just going to center it in between the two photos here and set that into place. So now we're ready to start adding some of My Road's beautiful embellishments. And I have some of their aqua and or turquoise and yellow um, flowers, so I'm going to place one of each of them here, and then I've got three more, and I'm going to place those in the top right hand corner of my matted photograph there. So I'm just, if you notice, I'm just going to keep layering some of my road's elements, and I'm not sticking anything down yet because I always like to lay it out on my page before I stick anything down. I then have one of my road's mini tags, and this is the little scalloped one, and it has the same type of grommet as the um, canvas pennant here, so I thought that it worked very well and the colors coordinated so well. I've taken a piece of their um, coffee gingham ribbon, I've threaded it up through the hole of the tag there, trimmed off my edges, and this is about a three inch piece of ribbon. Then I took a three inch piece of their twine, uh, twine cord, and this is in the um, popsicle blue twine cord, and I've just tied it around the ends of my ribbon there to hold that into place. So I'm going to lay that on a slight angle here with my flowers. So I've repeated that same process with my twine cord and their gingham ribbon on a second um, mini tag. And then I just have a plain one and I'm just going to layer these slightly offset in this grouping of flowers. And this is how, again, I like to just lay things out so that I can see the placement of each. Now I'm going to take one of my Rhodes beautiful little um, metal hangers, these are the vintage love hangers, and I'm just going to actually slide that into place here, just adding that extra element of metal, mimicking the metal that's through the grommets on the page. So once you have the elements set out on your page, you're going to stick them down. I'm going to stick my flowers down with some hot glue as well as my little hanger, and each of my tags I'm going to pop up on a Stampin' Dimensional. These tags I would use to add in some journaling, maybe the date, and add in this is Julia's birthday party, so I would say that it's her birthday party and where they went. So I add, would add that in with a Stampin' Write marker once um, I have them in place on the page. So just like I said, go ahead and stick your tags down with some Stampin' Dimensionals and then you can go ahead and stick your other elements down with some hot glue. And I'm just holding each element to the page with the hot glue so that it has some time to set and it doesn't move out of the placement where I want it. So like I said, I added my flowers in by sticking them down to the page with some hot glue. My tags are added down with some Stampin' Dimensionals and my hanger is stuck down with a little touch of hot glue as well. I would add in my journaling to my tags with some Early Espresso Stampin' Write markers and there you have your finished happy birthday page. I hope you enjoyed stamping with me. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, 
At the end of this week, two lucky winners will receive a Maya Road prize pack. The winners will be chosen from all the comments left on the Paper Crafters Library blog and Facebook page, as well as on the Maya Road blog and Facebook page throughout the week. Winners will be announced on Friday, June 1st, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To enter to win, visit the Paper Crafters Library blog and leave a comment in the post you see here. If you're watching this video from somewhere other than our blog, you'll find a direct link to this post in the video description section. While you're there, we invite you to check out the benefits of becoming a Paper Crafters Library member by clicking on the Benefits of Membership link at the top of our blog. The winners will be announced on Friday, June 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to visit our blog every day this week for more great projects using Maya Rhodes products for, and for more opportunities to win, as each day you leave a comment counts as one entry. See you on the blog!